Well, that means that I've moved from an x value of 0 to an x value of 0 0.2. And two iterations means I have to do that in two steps. So my step size would be essentially a b minus a over the number of steps or iterations. So here my step size would be 0 0.1. Now we have to remember the equation for Euler's method. And I like to use a table. So I'm starting at the point x equals 0, y equals 1. So I'm at an x value of 0 and a y value of 1. And then I'm going to get my next y value. by taking the y value I'm starting at, and I'll write the equation more generically. So I'm taking the y value that I'm currently standing at plus my slope at the point I'm currently standing at times delta x. So in this case, to get my next y value or my y sub one, I would take the y value I'm starting at, one, now I need the slope at the point I'm currently standing at. So if I plug in 0 and 1, I get a slope of negative 1. So I'd have a slope of negative 1 times that delta x that we just found. That means that I've now taken one step. So in the x direction, I move from an x value of 0 to an x value of 0.1. And in the y direction, this has given me my next y value, so 1 minus 0.1 would put us at 0 0.9. That's just one step, but I need to take one more. So after two iterations, I, I'm standing at 0 0.9. I now need my slope at that point. So I'm standing at an x value of 0 0.1 and a y value of 0 0.9, so that slope is going to look like 2 times 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9 whole thing squared times our 0 0.1. And to simplify that, um, 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is going to give me 0 0.81. So I've got 0 0.2 minus 0 0.81 times that 0 0.1, and I've got 0 0.9 plus that. So 0 0.2 minus 0 0.81 looks like that's going to give me a negative 0 0.61, and then times the 0.1, I'd be at negative 0 0.061. So 1.9 minus 0 0.061, I think it's going to put me Again, my x value, I've taken one step, so I'm at point 0.2. And my y value is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.061. So that sounds like 0 0.839. So my estimate of y of 0 0.2 would be equal to 0 0.839. Nine.